about 5.15 this morning. We tried to get an early start this morning because it's going to be a long day and um, about 10 hours of driving. We stopped here in Marietta, just about to cross the bridge. Figured I'd top off with fuel and get a bite for breakfast. So I've got my son with me this morning. Maybe you'll meet him a little bit later. He's going to help me shoot some video and um, try to get these beds picked up, get the rest of these parts home, and get this truck put together. So it should be a good day. still up it's about uh, 13 and a half hours after we left but we made it so got um, some miscellaneous odds and ends parts here pretty good sized truckload of those as a matter of fact but um, the big thing was got the flatbed and it is not in bad shape. It's pretty solid. Um, it was for a cabin chassis truck, so I will need to either move the rails in order to mount it onto that pickup frame, or do some measuring and add a couple of rails. Uh, the truck that this was on was wrecked and um, twisted up the the hitch that was on it pretty badly so that's not going to be of any use to us but um, the rest of it's in real good shape um, straighten things out just a little bit and I think this will be the perfect addition to Project Frankenstroke should be a real nice addition so this is uh, the dually bed that was off of that truck uh, obviously it has the matching graphics on it but I don't know what happened here I don't even know how that ends up how that happens um, but the bed is not in great shape big gash in the side there there's a hole from a gooseneck hitch so I'm not sure that that one's really going to be much good Aside from the fact that these dually fenders could be of some use to somebody. But um, we made it. Didn't have too much trouble. Um, just had minor trouble with some straps and things. Seems like anytime you've got an irregular load like this, you end up having to stop a lot to tighten straps, and retention, and check things. But we made it home. Now on to the next thing.